What's up, nerds? It is the buttered jorts story. It sounds terrifying. I think I have to take ball lightning over capacitor. <clears throat> Cards are just too good. Ooh. I have three cards gone already. It's a very strong start. I'm fine with it. The Albion, do what you want. <laughs> I have a smiling mask? Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Should I take Capacitor, though? I should probably take Capacitor. I'm already comfortably ahead on removes. And get more later. Everything right. Fampy, I'm okay.
That's a mummified hand. Wow. I'm pretty sure this is the Mangloom over Genetic Alk. I don't have any AoE yet. Mangloom gets better with a um, mummified hand too. Heat Sink's mummified hand. So that was a shop, and that was a shop. I don't know that I beat Gremlin up consistently enough to go left. And it feels like I'm in such a strong position that it's silly to throw it away. 25 health and an attack potion. But I can take damage in the fight before it. <clears throat> Usually when like I usually have twenty or a thirty-three health. Oh, well, unless I get hit first. It's like close. Probably die like twenty percent of the time going left. Fifteen. Ten? I don't know. Have we seen a rare? I've seen a rare. Alright, give me the rare and ship. Get exactly lethal here. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Yeah, I'll take a bullseye. That probably helps. Oh yeah, this lag of it one. Easy game. Isoma. Ugly Xmas jarbs. You know the Christmas sweater tradition. We do that except like uglier. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm confident we can work it out together. How am I feeling? Let's just try not to think about that. I did get my rare, though. <laughs> that was the big idea. It's a hyper beam, unfortunately, but yeah, okay, I don't want that. I don't think I block quite well enough to upgrade. If I did upgrade, it would be a capacitor upgrade, which would be fine, but I don't really have the block guards yet. to rest. Do I like dishes with mayo? Uh, sometimes. I don't think that whether something has mayo or not is usually the make or break for me. Mayo is largely... Consequential on my enjoyment of a dish. But I 
if it's just mail, I would not. No. No. Thank you. But no. Frostarb actually deals more damage here because I want to draw another orb, which means I want to draw as many cards as possible, which means I want a Frostorb channel so Compile Driver draws three. Seek or Electro? This deck is almost strong enough to take Seek over Electro, even with Mummified Hand. Almost. I don't think we're quite there. Almost. Uh, energy doesn't seem that important with Mummified Hand here, so I think I can just take Slaver's Collar. Just take the one that doesn't have the downside. Coco for you. Getting the Smiling Mass value on another couple of removes would be nice. I have very high card quality, so getting rid of these last strikes and defends is nice. Uh, also, I probably have enough gold to buy, like, Runic Capacitor or whatever if I see it. I spend 50 here, then I make back 50 over these three floors, and I spend 50 here again. But if I... Like, I'll have 180 probably, if I want to. That's fucked. I'll be honest with you, this turn is too hard. Wait, don't I just have 25 damage with Electro? I think this is just lethal. Alright, so it wasn't actually that hard. <laughs> Noted. I'm actually in it. I could buy a self repair, but it locks me out of buying something sweet in this shop, so I think I'll just try to make do with my blood vial. And the card remove. It's a good self repair. I'm strong enough to just take self repair here. Oh, it's such a strong card. Alright. Talked myself into it. Probably. Probably.
Okay, close to 22 months. So I want the fusion. I have to upgrade it. Just feels real, real strong gear with such a small deck and a compile driver. And a capacitor already. I just take Scum. Oh, I can find energy some other place. I already have a mummified hand, so. How much energy could I really need? Alright, let's do this. Bust. Yeah. I have to worry about dying. This is the problem with apparitions. Important to get self repair and play. I have 14 health. I'm going to an elite fight. <laughs> uh, I don't love this. How much does rusting do? 10 HP. Ninja Oxen saw 13 months. I'm going to show to you too. Man, I have so few cards in my deck. I'm really going to draw these ones. I just don't play these. <sighs> oh my god, it's a skin boss. Skim compile driver, compile driver, skim, and skim plus. At some point it feels like I want a turbo.
Well. I hope I get attacked next turn. If I get attacked next turn, it feels like I won. Otherwise, mm, scary. Still winnable, but scary. Absolutely not blocking this turn, but I think we just kill. Oh my god. It was actually the most card draw I've ever had. Just straight up. Zero energy. <laughs> and I don't even really scale into anything strong. So I'm gonna upgrade two apparitions, I think. I think this is like not necessary. Upgrade two apparitions, I have a lot of card draw, expect that to win the collector fight for me. Oh. Maybe just upgraded defrag them. One apparition, that's fine too. If I draw them on a turn where I don't want them. Feels like it's lethal somehow, huh? Another scaling card? Turbo? Should perhaps take and upgrade the turbo. That might be it. I'll go Capacitor first with this Collector fight, and then Turbo's high on my list. I reached a point where I have to take an Energy card, I think. Thank you. 
There are heights where what you do changes what the enemy does in Slay the Spire. A gremlin leader fight, for example, has that going on? That's why it's my favorite fight in the game. Lots of thinking. I'm at full health. Why did it take so long for the fight to end there? Y'all see that? That took so fucking long. Shall I do the creative AI mummified hand thing? Last time I tried to do this, I died, but in fairness, I didn't have two defrag plus capacitor plus three apparition, <laughs> so it might go better this time. Uh, taking a runic pyramid is interesting here. It's interesting because I just realized that I had four energy in every elite and boss fight, by the way. <laughs> uh, it's interesting because it does mean that I have to be careful about playing creative AI in some of the boss fights where like getting a billion storms actually kills me, perhaps. But I mean... Hmm. It also means I have to upgrade the operations, but that seems doable. That's its strength, is um, I get to hold three operations for bad turns after I upgrade them. Go there. Get more card removes. Sort of lethal damage. <laughs> it was scary though, for a second, wasn't it? Sure, seems like such a good card here. I don't think Zap's very impressive at the moment. Good to get rid of that. Why did I play Capacitor? Playing Capacitor is wrong there. Because I can't play it now. Cost zero. It feels like enough of a reason to take a card without even doing anything. <laughs> Cost zero and it does something? What a bonus. So I want to remove a card that doesn't block, probably. Probably a card that doesn't block or draw cards. That's very difficult to do. I'm not removing ball lightning. I guess I'm just removing defend. Alright. 
This turn would be a great turn to not die. Wondering if I chill first or something. I don't think so. This next turn would also be a great turn to not die. Good. What turn is the best turn to die on? It's more that some turns are good turns to like deal damage. And other turns are good turns to not die. That's more what I'm saying. If I've ever died, turn one of the heart fights. Possibly. That seems plausible. Ink bottle is nice. Seek is very good. Seek is very good. This feels pretty close to being a waffle. Bad card. Cards that aren't Apparition are pretty bad. I could get rid of Electro here. I think it's the way I kill the Act 4 Elites though. Get rid of Creative AI. I sort of like it. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna get a sense for if I have enough lock on the deck once I'm playing all my powers. I think so. I don't have a loop. I only have 35 health. And Glacier, cool headed cold snap. It's quite a lot of frost orb generation, actually. I think I have too much card draw. I could give away, like, Skim. Is it a worse card than Defend? Probably not. After I had five wounds in my hand, Sabatiel, that I win the fight while taking zero damage. Eight, 
40. Actually, one more than I need. Eh. Solid. I think I probably want that. Ducks actually like surprisingly not that good at scaling. It's like missing a loop. It doesn't have an echo form, so it only plays all the scaling stuff once. dream that you've done an entire day of work and then wake up and realize that you haven't actually done work yet and you still have to do it. Interesting. I don't think I'd bother with an unupgraded one. An extra three block is like quite a bit of block though. Sure. a stress thing. I feel like it's all a stress thing. <laughs> right? It's probably all a stress thing. Playing a game is like work to me. No, the playing the game part doesn't feel like work. Absolutely work. Here, even should just ban chat. But you pay for me to uh, buy clay for my face and stuff. If I banned you, where would I get my face clay money?
Let's do this. And my central candle money, that as well. Overlord thinks the prime. Constitution holding up. I don't remember what that means. Are you meant to like feel a thing as a human being or something? Not sure that's what I'm all about anymore. Good. An incense burner. In theory, and this is highly theoretical, but in theory this deck should be quite good at putting incense burner on the right numbers. Hey Arbius, thanks for the right. How are you doing? Oh, how are you today? Yeah. Welcome in everyone. Oh. with uh, four energy, probably. Defect runs do tend to uh, end up with strong frost orbs. It is a normal thing, though. They don't all end up that way, though. like 10% of them, you have to do something really weird. I could wait for Echo Form for the self repair, but I don't think I'm going to take enough damage for it to matter. So, I guess I won't. Three better against the heart. Well, three or four are the ones that block its attacks. Generally, don't want two. That win. So that wins, doesn't it? I still have uh no, no defragment. Okay. Oh, this one's even more. Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm just thinking. How many percent of the time you need to reprogram the one? I played a run like that this challenge, right? I think that was this challenge. With the hologram madness infinite? I'm pretty sure that was this challenge.
Looks like I'm putting incense burner on four. I don't know if I was maybe meant to think about that before making the decision. I'm sure it'll be fine. Worked pretty well. Battling Time Eater, the Eater of Time. Ooh, I maybe shouldn't have played that. Feels like the only way that I lose the fight is if I generate 10 Hello Worlds in a row. Although. I don't know, maybe that doesn't actually lose. What if I generate 10 D fragments in a row? Probably win those lines. That would be my guess. I would just chill out and then uh, kill with the orb when we get back around to four on incense burner. Dual cast two turns from now. Everything's perfectly settled. Defrag or one more apparition. I think defrag. And if I draw the an upgraded apparition on a really bad turn, I can use the upgrade potion for that. That's sort of fine. Uh, Medkit is of interest to me here. Just getting rid of the Baron and Wound from my deck against the heart seems worth that much money. <sighs> Maybe a card remove is better. I don't know. If I card remove, I can buy another Glacier. I'm a little bit concerned that if I buy another Glacier, I end up not having enough damage. Like, I can't actually play it because I need damage orbs in play. Do this. Rude. Easy. Super easy. Just realized something. That app person doesn't cost a zero and I didn't play it yet. <laughs> I was planning to play the app person this turn, but I don't actually have to. It just reminds me of that silent loss that I had. Where I just straight up didn't play an apparition. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh dear. Inside the spire. I don't know. I'm not sure anybody knows. You think they have like temperature reading type things in the spire? I imagine they do not. Maybe better to play it this way? I mean, exactly the same to play it this way. Let's be real. Matter either way. So, heal next turn. And we have incense burner on a good number. And ink bottle on a good number. Choose a skill. I will choose Seek. Seek or Apparition, actually. If I'm just seeking for Apparition anyway, why not just pick Apparition? I could also go for Skim. Or even Glacier. I don't know. There are options, I guess. Maybe I Seek for Capacitor, actually. It's different. I wonder about the Static Discharge a little bit with an incense burner in a deck that struggles a little bit to deal damage and apparitions, there are lots of reasons to take it. Like, that's a lot of reasons to take it? Okay, that's so many reasons to take it. Alright. Maybe just seek for creative AI. Seems sort of fun. to start. Excellent stuff. It's an echo form, but I didn't leave space in my hand for it. Whoops. like, you know, yeah, those cards on my deck. In theory. So that's a good thing. Thanks very much for the gift itself. Appreciate it. Play Echo Farm. Am I also going to play Apparition this turn? Probably, right? Let's do it first then.
if I've reached the point where I just play Hello World. Plus a zero. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to be intangible for a long time, and mostly I'm just killing from here, I think. Taking a lot of damage right now. Is that the Celeste music or my cat? like a blocks. I don't actually necessarily want to full block here either. It's 48 plus. Yeah, so I'll channel a bunch of lightning. It's actually perfect. Feels so automatic right now. Well, do you think this for 20 months? 